we'll be looking at have project management framework. This clearly gives you a graphical idea of what we said. On the top we have the strategic objective of the organization of which you create the portfolio of projects and programs and the portfolio will have project and programs. Each program again will have a related set of projects. Now let us understand concepts. So program, sub-project and portfolio. So what is a portfolio? We will start off with portfolio. <coughs> what is a portfolio? What does the word portfolio bring to your mind? Let's, let's take an example <coughs> of uh, ourselves, the, the finance part of it. When we say portfolio, I think one of the common answers that I get is portfolio of investment. Now why do we invest? We invest maybe for securing our future, that is our after retirement, or we invest so that we can have a big vacation going somewhere in Europe or some other country. We invest because we want to buy something big like land or house or something. So there is some kind of an objective which we want to meet. And for that what we do is we invest. And when we invest, we invest in, we keep something in cash, we keep something in maybe fixed deposits, something in mutual funds, shares and debts all those kind of investments we make. And from, from time to time we also change those investments. We move from one, uh, one particular mutual fund to a something else. We move, we sell some shares and buy some new shares. We keep doing this. Why are we doing this? To ensure we constantly monitor our progress and see that whether it is achieving our objective. For a company also it is the same thing. A company also has a limited set of earnings. That limited set, like for us as an individual, our earning is our monthly income. My, uh, either my personal income or my family income, whatever. For company also, whatever their sales and turnover and uh, prof profit after tax, that is their income. That is the income which needs to be spent. <coughs> that needs to be spent on two things. That needs to be spent on new projects on one part and that needs to be spent on the ongoing running of the organization. That is operations. So if you give too much to operation you have less for new projects. If you have too much to new projects you don't have operations. Portfolio management is the activity where you will try to balance between the two and hence that is a particular process by which number one, you identify the new initiations or ideas that comes for projects, justify that and finally decide which are the ones which will go into the project. So you know how much of budget it gets allocated to these projects and obviously that will go to the next stage. Now <laughs> say for example, IT manager wants to change all the windows to windows 8 because windows 8 is the latest. Does that justify a project? Maybe not. But Microsoft has declared that by, by the end of this year they will stop support of windows XP. If the organization has a lot of XP machines in with them, then definitely this is one mandatory requirement of operations uh, or uh, uh, mandatory requirement for IT manager to decide on a project of changing all the particular 
XP is to something new. Maybe whether it will be eight or seven, that's a different issue. That can be part of an activity in a project. So there can be various such reasons because of which operations needs to continue or new projects needs to come and you have to balance both. Portfolio management, what also does is once it is the project is live and is executed, for each project we are all used to a term called business case. We create a nice presentation where people talks and presents the business case saying that this is what we will benefit out of by getting this project. somebody needs to check whether those benefits are getting realized. That benefit realization can be tracked only once the project is complete and is handed over to operations. So operations will then start feeding for each of the project whether it is meeting the business objectives that for which it has been done. And there is a third part that is today there are certain business objectives of the organization based on which certain projects are going on. So pro certain projects can be in execution, certain projects can be in the pipeline which will and certain new projects which are new ideas which has come in. There needs to be a constant evaluation of the projects in execution and pipeline to see if they are still relevant to the business objectives of the organization. Maybe the organization had a plan of opening up a new office or branch in a particular country. But in the next six months because of the current uh, political and economic situation of the countries, the basic objective of the organization has changed. Does it still, is it necessary or does it still make sense to still carry on with the project of opening up the branch and do all the things that is required under the various heads of projects uh, for that opening up in that country? No. So those projects if they have started will be put on hold or even killed. We as a project manager should not feel bad about it that my project is killed or my project is put on hold. It is basically for that purpose that to, uh, to link to your business objectives. The other part is to look at the risk and resource constraints. There may be a particular project which requires to be completed because of the business objectives which needs a particular critical resource. But the resource at this point of time is planned for another project. It is through portfolio management, you will move that resource, justify and move that resource into the new project, put the current project on hold till that part is complete and bring back the resource. Now those are different kind of activities which happens in portfolio management. 